one, it's the sauce. Charles. Charles. And my buddy Charles over here. Charles. Today we're about to review a, uh, I think a German beer. Product of Germany, right? Kumbacher. It's a Kumbacher Icebach. And, uh, it's, be good. it's got an interesting history on it. Some, uh, apprentice left it out freezing in winter over, and they discovered it in the spring. And yep, left a couple barrels outside, covered them with snow. They were busted open, and when they found them in the springtime, well, pretty much the, the, the apprentice was, uh, got in some trouble, but underneath all the ice was a nice, uh, dark Bach beer, high in alcohol, and pretty strong. And this is what we got. Ice Bach, I think means ice Bach, like ice, as in cold ice. What do you guess? You think so? I'm pretty sure that's what it means in German. Yeah. I'm, I'm no German, no German linguist, but... Wow. Dark beer. All right, he's using a mug, and I'm using a uh, an oversized wine glass here, crystal wine glass. It's supposedly a winter beer, but it's very high in alcohol, 9.7 percent, 9.2. Excuse me. Mm. Oh wow. What do you think that smell is? Smell it. Mm, very good. It's real dark. It's like a red, almost blackish red. You can barely see through it, and it's got a uh, nice tan head. Hmm. Hardly any lacing and minimal head. Yeah, not much lacing. Smell is very boozy. It's almost like, I think I smell like grapes. What do you think? It does smell you kinda, It kind of smells like fruit, like grapes. That's what I think, at least. Maybe that's just the booze. It's got a strong smell. Way stronger, I'm, I expect, in this. So let's give her a taste. This is really wow, overpowering kind of. That's a strong. It, rem great, it reminds great me a taste. lot like a barley wine. Mm. It doesn't have the same taste that I think it's barley wine because it's a tabac. Yeah, ice bock. Ice bock. They still use the same process they did when they coincidentally founded this beer. They uh, freeze it. They freeze the beer. Uh, the beer. Yep. It's the original German ice box. So you should try the original. I would say. The taste has like a. I think that's a lot of barley in there. It's a smooth kind of taste, though, even though it's a strong beer, 9.2. You're right, it is pretty sub uh, subtle, but I'd say it's also sublime. Yeah. It is great. Mm. I'd give it a double thumbs on those, maybe a thumb and a half. That's the first ice box I've ever tasted. Yeah, definitely a double thumbs. I'd, I'd say the, uh, the drinkability uh, on this one is pretty easy. easy. What do you think? Drinkability? Oh yeah, definitely. I would chill with this beer any night. Chilling. But the uh, mouthfeel, it's got a pretty uh, pretty strong uh, mouthfeel. Yeah, I can taste barley, and uh, it's slightly bitter. Kind of a... It does have a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. I think it coats the mouth quite well. Man. Mm -hmm. Can't really taste the 9.2% alcohol. What do you think? It's pretty hidden. Uh, I think you can taste it. It's strong, but like you said, it's subtle. Or it is very subtle. Mm. Interesting beer. So yeah, I'm gonna for a Bach, the first ice Bach I've ever tasted. I'm gonna say good double thumbs up in the category. I'd give it the same. But uh, yeah, go out and pick yourself up one of these shits because they're uh, try it. Yeah, they're made in ice. Kumbacher. So yeah.